More and more Americans are taking to the streets on bicycles. And nowhere is that more apparent than in Portland, Oregon, often called Bike Town USA. But with all those bikes comes a major problem bike thieves. I personally think that bike theft is an epidemic. Scott Baker is a service manager at Bike Gallery, a popular bike shop. Every single day I'm at work, I see something come through the door that's been stolen. It's gotten so bad, the store has posted these police photos, a gallery of suspected bike thieves for employees to be on the lookout for. So how common is bike thievery? Like bike Gallery loaned us that's this expensive mountain bike worth $2,000. Next, we hired security experts Expert Jason Cecchettini from baitbike.com. He's skilled at planting radio tracking devices in bikes in places you'd never expect. Downtown Portland was the perfect location for our bait bike. The high end bike sure did get a lot of attention. Keep your eyes on this dude. What's that he's holding close to his body? It's a bolt cutter. But he may be the world's most incompetent bicycle thief. He can't get through the lock and wanders off in frustration. Not too long after that came the guy in the hoodie. Hmm, he sure looks like he's checking things out. He thinks the coast is clear. He casually approaches the bike and just like that, he clips the bike lock and in a matter of moments, he's pedaling away. He's got a backpack and a hoodie on. It happened so quickly. Let's see that again. Those are wire cutters. Little does he know, the radio tracking device is monitoring his every move. He's currently right here. The chase is on through the streets of downtown Portland. It's time to let the cops know what's going on. Somebody just stole our bike. The thief goes over the steel bridge and we're right behind on the other side of the Willamette River. That's where we get out to follow the signal on foot. Well, the GPS says it's about a quarter mile that way. He may have sold it to somebody who's under the bridge right now taking it apart. That's entirely likely. As we get closer, the signal gets stronger. So my estimation is that the bike is about 200 yards ahead of us. We have to hop over a fence and find ourselves under Highway 5. Not a pleasant place to be. Then, pay dirt. It's a homeless camp. Bicycle parts are strewn all over. It looks like a chop shop. What appears to be a lot of stolen bikes here. Luckily, the police get there just in time. There's our bike. There it is. As you can see, they've already started to take it apart. Wow, that didn't take long. Where did you get that bike? Not my bike. No sign of the guy who stole the bike. I guess he sold it minutes earlier and took off. Where did you get that bike? I didn't get that bike. It's not my bike. I know, it's my bike. Look what the cops find on him. And where'd you get that one? Smartphones and electronics. Here's a brand new camera. Check out all the bike tools. Why do you need so many tools? He's busted, and you won't believe who he is. Remember the photos posted at the bike shop? Look at the guy on the left. That's him. He's actually known as the kingpin of thieves. Is he kind of a kingpin of bike theft here in Portland? Yeah, he is. He is. Absolutely. His name is Leroy Parsons, and he has an incredibly long rap sheet. Look at all these mug shots, one after another, over 70 of them in total for a variety of charges, including bike theft, burglary, and drugs. The police bike task force have been trying to put Parsons behind bars for a long time. Are you glad he caught him today? Very glad. Yes. There's our bike. Cops have charged Parsons with theft by receiving stolen property. That is a felony. He has pled not guilty.